hi welcome back to my channel it has been forever because first the holidays and second work and it's just been really crazy around here also I had like an allergic reaction to something I don't know what it was but it was like all oh, like in this area and it was like this horrible red ugly rash and I was like, I do not want to be on camera, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I have avoided the camera for a while, so, um, all that major stuff, so I have just kind of been chilling off camera for a while, so, uh, it's New Year's Eve, and, um, I just got off work and I was like, I'm going to film one last video before the year's up at least because my next video is probably going to be like empties or something like that and I have a lot of empties already so, um, so yeah, I wanted to film a, a video and have all that good stuff filmed and everything so I was like I'll make it a beauty arsenal video and we're really in for it guys cuz I have my lip collection and there's a lot of stuff like I think lipsticks and like lip products in general is probably what I have the most of this is gonna be excluding lip balms cuz there's no point in like, I mean, I guess I could like show them, but like there's really no point in like swatching them or something. So I just left out lip balms. It's going to, I'm going to share like all of my, um, samples and full size products and swatch them. So I'm excluding, um, I'm excluding like lip balms and stuff. First thing. I have it's a lip crayon by Burt's Bees. Um, I don't think it has. This is Sedona Sands shade 405. This is a really pretty color. Um, that's what that looks like. It's just like a pretty like mauvey rose type of color. Um, I haven't worn it too often. It's fairly new, but what I do like about it is that it's retractable. Like, it's not one that you have to sharpen. I'm all about that because I hate things I have to sharpen. Is a Bon Bon's lip gloss. And, um, this is a wet shine lip gloss. I can't remember if this is the one that smells or tastes like um, cough syrup. One of them smells or tastes like cough syrup. I don't know if it has a shade name, but it's really glossy and shiny. There it is. Um, the next one I'm pulling out is Lancome. It's a Juicy Tube Smoothie lip gloss um it doesn't have a name but i think it's just like a little sample size and it's really pretty and it's like a glittery lip gloss it does have like a sweet smell to it and that's what that one looks like Okay, so I do have a couple little items in here that I just keep in my collection because I've had them for a long time and I keep them like for memory's sake. This is like a super old lip gloss. It's Stuff by Hilary Duff. Like you can't even see that that's what it is anymore. But I like, it was like probably the first like colored or glittery lip gloss that I ever had like it's 
completely dried up and I don't think that you can like even swatch it I'll try but I just remember I loved this color because it was so pretty and um it used to smell good but it stinks now because it's like forever old it's not made anymore obviously but that's right there it used to be really pretty but uh, I just keep it around because I like to remember like the sixth grade and stuff and this is also really old I don't use it obviously um, I just like remember being on the bus and me and my best friend would like smell it we'd just be like this smells so good because it's like orange scented this is like the Gabriella kissing glass um, in orange and like there's still a ton in here because like we never really actually wore it we just liked smelling it and you can get these in like all kinds of different flavors and like scents and stuff but we really liked the orange flavor so we just we just like to smell it <clears throat> which yeah like I said I don't wear it I just keep it around because I like to remember that okay the next one is a Tristique, a uh, little sample in Florence Fig. I'm really not a huge fan of Tristique. Um, they just like, their products are kind of iffy with me. Um, this is a really pretty shade and everything, but sometimes like their products like eyeshadows or lip glosses they they're a little like patchy and whatnot this one however is a really really pretty shade this one is a matte lip crayon in Belize Bordeaux and it's not nearly as patchy as the other one and that's that one and those two I got an Ipsy I got the Burt's Bees one. I got it in Beauty Army. It's either five or ten dollars, and you get to choose your samples. However, if you don't choose in, in time, they'll choose for you. So that's kind of sucky. Last time, like I don't get that one anymore. Um, I only get the uh, two that I usually unbox. But Beauty Army was fun. I would recommend it. I don't know why I don't get it anymore. I just, I guess because I couldn't keep up with the emails to choose. Okay, so the next two, I don't know what brand they're from. They're lip glosses, they're like little samples. Um, this one's just a clear gloss. It's got a little bit of like glitter in it. I don't know if you can tell. And J Cat um, Wonder Lip Paint. I'm gonna apply this one with a brush. These can get kind of oily, so that's why I want to be kind of careful with this one. Really, really pretty shade, but it kind of bleeds, so you would need a lip liner with it. Thing that I have is a Sephora lip gloss I got in my Sephora Play. This is a Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Shine Lip Gel in Pin Up Pink. That's a really long name. I'm not gonna remember all that. This one's kinda sticky. But there it is there. And these, I got two of these um, Ulta samples I got in a makeup kit from um, from my mom for Christmas. These are really nice. This one is supposed to be a matte lip cream. It is not matte. However, it is such a pretty color. I absolutely adore it. I never saw that it 
dried down. It stayed kind of creamy, but it it looks fairly matte. It's not like really shimmery or glossy, so I was okay with that. And this color is striking, which it is very striking. The next is a Ulta Brilliant color, and this is like a lip gloss. And this is in Petal Pink, and there it is right there. It's just like a shiny gloss. That one's kind of sticky, though. The next one is a Tarte Lip Surgeon's Gloss in Energy, I guess. I got this in Ipsy. It's just a clear gloss. There it is there. I have a cargo lip gloss in, I believe it's pronounced Angela. Correct me if I'm wrong, it's just spelled a little different. And this is a really pretty gloss. I don't wear it as often as I should. And this is Jessica Liebskind Vintage Gloss in Pink Sequin. And this is absolutely gorgeous. It's pink with like gold glitters. And I love it. And there it is there. This is just kind of like a kitty gloss. Honestly, it's a Hello Kitty gloss. I don't know what the brand is. It doesn't have a name, but it's a really pretty gloss with like blue and pink and purple like little glitters. It's just really cute. And sometimes when I feel like having like chunky glitter on my lips, this is what I put on just for fun. I don't wear it all that often because I don't get in that mood often. It's also just really cute because it's got Hello Kitty on the top. I'm not a huge Hello Kitty fan, but you know, so there it is right there. I don't even think you can see like all the glitters in it, but that's okay. Um, I'll go ahead and get into some of my lipsticks. Now, before I got into like darker, more bold lipsticks, I wore pretty much like the same color lipsticks. And they were kind of like a mauve pinky color. So I have a lot of those colors. I think I threw most of them away, but I think I still have like a few of them and I do still like to wear colors this shade so I do hold on to them this one I don't know the brand of I think it's probably Revlon Maybelline or something like that but this is the color this is a little more pink than what I would normally go for um, this is what the tube looks like. If anybody recognizes it, let me know. This one, like whenever I like a lipstick, I will use it and abuse it and then it never has writing on it. Next one is Geo Girl lipstick. And it's called G R Oh, great lip shine raspberry if you can see how it's spelled um it's pretty much kind of the same color just like a more muted geo girl i think is just a more like a kid type brand but it's um like everything is like made out of like recycled products and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, like the tube has like bees on it because like it's made out of beeswax and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, 
the formula is kind of waxy, so, but the lipstick is pretty. Wet n Wild lipstick, which for some reason, I picked this lipstick up and I was like, I think I thought it was a different color, because when I got it home and like I put it on, I was like, wait a minute, I picked up the wrong color. This is, I believe, yeah, this is Dollhouse Pink, and I was like, holy shit, I picked up the wrong color. Because this is not really something I would wear all the time, but I am glad that I have it in my collection because I like it. It's like, it's like, whoa, pink, you know? I, once again, don't know what brand this is. This is more of like a brownie based, a uh, more muted color. But since I don't have any names on some of them, it's hard to tell. Now these lipsticks here, I have five of these lipsticks and I don't know the brand on any of them, but they came in a set. And I think the the brand was written on the set, and um, I think what happened was it was only written on the original packaging, and since the packaging is now gone, I have no idea who made them or what. So, and they don't have like names either like a peachy color um almost kind of skin tone and they're all shimmery colors um they're really pretty though and they're really unique so i do like them all there is that one right there the packaging is really cheap though so it's just gone if you drop it or whatever. Almost all of the lids or packaging in general is cracked or broken in some way. This is more of like a silvery color, kind of um, a brownie silver. And there's that one. It's really, really pretty. Kind of a champagne color. So I'm seeing it saying it's distributed by Mark Wins on the bottom of some of them. I don't know who Mark Wins is. So this one is gorgeous. It's a purple. I've used it a whole bunch. Um, I really love this one. So there's that one. And this one is another purple that I've also used a lot. This one's probably my favorite. It's a darker purple. And it's got like a blue undertone to it. Well, it's my favorite out of these five. And then this one's like a really gorgeous shimmery red. Kind of like a blood red sort of. So there are these, see like you can hear some like crackling in the packaging and like all of them are like gross looking kind of type of product. It's a shimmer cream. You can, oops, you can technically use this like on your cheeks or lips if you want. It is Beauty Time Shimmer Cream. It's not super pigmented, and that's where it is right there. But it's really pretty. It's kind of like a highlight or whatever if you want. Um, but I used to always use it on my lips. But Oh, I do have a NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. It's pink, though. I think Vanilla Cream Pie is more white. This one was like really sticky. Usually the, 
At least it is on my hand. So there's that. It's like really shiny though. Okay. And the next one is supposed to be a liquid matte lipstick, but it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Um, it's the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Everybody is hating on these. Like, everybody's like, oh, those are so stupid. Like, oh, I hate them. I really like these. Like, I know that they didn't do what they said they were supposed to do. But they're still really nice. And they're, like, really velvety and, like, comfortable on the lips. Like, they're still a good product, even though... They, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Like, I know that you're disappointed because you didn't get, like, a matte lip cream that was supposed to dry down. But these are still a really nice, really good product. And I was super happy with them. And I love this one. This one is an, um... I think seduction or something. I don't remember. It's something like that. But it's really pretty. And I really love it because like it doesn't dry out my lips and I can wear it like all day and I can touch up on it really easy and it doesn't look like crap after touching up on it. So I'll put this in my purse and I like it and also it smells like cupcakes. It smells really good. So I do not hate this, just so you know. So I have this Starlux gloss in Guilty Pleasure. This one is kind of sticky, but it's nice. I use it every once in a while. It's got like a really good payoff of pigment and a lot of shine. So when I feel like I need to be shiny, that one's there. The next one is brand new. I just got this in my last Ipsy. And it's the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint. And I don't remember what color and it doesn't have it on the packaging. Oh, Woman Crush Wednesday. I think it's just WCW. But, you know, this one has, like, a lot of color payoff, so it's more kind of like a, like a lipstick to me anyway. The next is another Tarte product. It's also retractable. What I hate about it is that it smells like mint, and it, I'm allergic to mint, so that's kind of like an alarm to me. Whenever I smell lip products that are minty, but it doesn't bother me, thank God, because I, I really like it. It's a Tarte Wonder Lip Surgeon's Lip Pencil, and I don't know what shade this is in because it doesn't have it on the packaging, but it's a really pretty color. I really like it. And the other Maya Lip Stick in Desert Rose, and these are so freaking cute, these little samples. I love the little tiny samples. They steal my heart because they are so cute. They're so tiny. Compared to like a big lipstick. Like, yeah. <laughs> little Marc Jacobs baby lipstick as well. This is like the birthday present from Sephora. It came with an eyeliner. I haven't even used it yet. I just got it in November, so I don't even know what it looks like. So this is the first time I'm swatching it, and it's gorgeous. I really like that. Can't believe I haven't used it yet. And then I have another baby sample from Sephora. This one is in, uh, I think it's like Rouge Brilliance or something. This one I haven't, I think I swatched it one time, but I haven't got to use it yet. Ooh, it's really shiny and pretty. Look at that. 
It's a really pretty color too. It looks like it would be really pink, but it's not really pink. Okay, the next one is my black lipstick. This, <laughs> this one's looking kind of funky. This one's from um, Maybelline. This is Pitch Black 845. This one's really shiny, and I, I don't know how I like shine in a black lipstick. And it's kind of patchy too, which is like, hmm. But it gets the job done. And this one is my Star Wars lipstick. This one doesn't have like a name or anything, but I love this color. It's so pretty. My favorite one is the other purple though. Let me get the thing off. It's so it's like a silvery lilac color. It's so pretty. Look at that. Look how it shines. It's so gorgeous. Like I don't know why I didn't fall in love with them sooner. Okay, so this is the deep purple. This is life. Look look at this watch. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's got that blue like undertone to it. That's a liquid lipstick. I'll go ahead and swatch this one. This one is the Bare Minerals. Uh, I think it's Gin Nude in swag. They're, I think they're called Gin Nudes. Um, this one is gorgeous. This one is not exactly matte either, but everybody seems to love it. These don't dry completely down for me when I wear them. So, you people out there are hypocrites. So anyway, this is probably one of my favorite drugstore reds, and this is Rimmel Kate Moss. And it is Kiss of Life. I freaking love this lipstick. It's gorgeous. Let me swatch it. I wear this a lot. And this is like a true red. And look at that. It's gorgeous. And it's not patchy. It will wear forever. And it will love you forever. Okay. I got this one. I got this one in um, Ipsy, and it is Dirty Little Secrets Cosmetics, and I think it's my favorite, like, bullet lipstick that I own. It's gorgeous. It It is so pretty. Look at this. That is such a beautiful shade. Like, I love it. This is the shade Vengeance by Dirty Little Secret. If you don't own it, you need to own it because because it's so pretty. Like, I, I love this. And I will purchase this on my own when I run out because I love it. Okay. These next two, like, I had to buy them because I was seeing the pictures of them on Instagram and just the way that they look in the bullet is I've never seen a lipstick look like that they look so matte and gorgeous in the tube like compared to let's see like like how these look so shiny Do you see what I mean? Like, this one is like a matte thing. Like, I don't know. Maybe that doesn't make sense, but I had to have it because it was so pretty and matte and I needed them in my life. So this one is Elias Red. And these are L'Oreal lipsticks. It's so gorgeous. I haven't gotten to wear them very much either because 
I don't know why. And the next one is Julianne's red. This one is more of a pink red. So there they both are. I'm going to swatch um, my ColourPop lippies. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only have eight lippies and a lippy pencil by ColourPop. I don't go nuts over the like lip products because I like their eyeshadows best. The first one I have is the, it was a limited edition one last year around Valentine's Day, and that is Trust Me. It is the Matte X formula. The next is another one that was limited edition in Matte X in Poppin, and it's in this really cute hot pink. Uh, this, whatever this is, packaging. The next one I have is Peppermint, and it's supposed to be matte as well, but it's kind of... It's kind of like, not glossy, but it's got a hint of like satin in it. This next one is Peacocky and this is like a uh, glossy finish, I believe. And this is a really gorgeous lipstick. The next one is Bound which is a glossy lippy and I really love Bound. I wear it quite a bit and I will swatch the lippy stick of Bound which is darker a lot darker The next shade I have is Bitchette, which is matte, but to me it looks pretty glossy. Um, the next one I have is Button. And the last one is Cupid, which is a hyper glossy finish. And I remember that they um, discontinued this one. That is what that one looks like there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of their um other lip products. There's so many different ones. I think I have mostly ultra matte lip products and then the others are like I think uh, whatever they are. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start swatching these and these are ColourPop as well. The first one I have is a Creeper, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous, like, true red, I would, I would call it. That is Creeper, and it is just as gorgeous as the last time. I really like my reds. So the next one I'm pulling out, uh, it has nothing written on the tube anymore is Beeper. This is an ultra matte as well. There's Beeper. I really love Beeper. I've obviously used this one so much that it has nothing written on it. So this one is probably my newest one. I've got three really new ones. This one is Hutch. This is uh, one of their, I think came out in their fall. Um, and Hutch is a ultra satin lip, and I was really excited to try the ultra satin lips, 
because they are really nice and really comfortable and I enjoy them. And look how freaking gorgeous that is. And the next is another ultra matte lip and this is Avenue. Here's that one. Okay, the next one, another ultra matte lip. This one's Notion. It's that one, also a freaking gorgeous color. ColourPop has some of the most unique colors out there. Next one is Calypso. I've worn the name off of this one. It's brand new too, but this one is so gorgeous. This one is an ultra satin lip. And I'm such a fan of the Ultra Satin Lips, I cannot even begin to describe you. They are so creamy and so comfortable. Here's that one. I love it. Next one is an Ultra Matte Lip Ouija by Colourpop. Plus, I had to have it because of the name too, so... So I like my creepy stuff. There is Ouija. But there it is there. It's similar to Beeper, but it's a darker color. There it is. Right there. And next is a sample from my Sephora Play. It's the Smashbox Always On um, liquid lipstick in driver's seat. Gorgeous. And very, um, very smooth application. So, well, um, this is the cream satin lip, or cream lip stain in Rouge. This is, like, the most adorable little sample. Like, this is probably the tiniest one that I have. And it's super pretty, too. The first one I have is Bedtime Flirt. I have not worn this one yet. I just got it. And that is that one. I'm trying. And I haven't got to wear it yet, but I was trying to get my hands on it and I finally did. It was a color that's always sold out. But this is a color that's me. One is a Revlon Just Bitten marker. That's what I would call it because it's a freaking marker. It's a lip stain plus balm. So it is a marker though. You stain your lips with it and then you take the balm side and you put the gloss on it to, oops, <laughs> I accidentally broke it but yeah that's what you do is a Rimmel um, Provocalypse uh, 16 hour kiss proof lip color. This stuff stays on, like I'm telling you. And it comes with like the liquid lipstick side and it dries down pretty fast. And then it has the gloss side. I'll just swatch the gloss next to it though. The gloss is it's kind of sticky. You could put any gloss you wanted on top. A um, Pacifica Power of Love Natural Minerals Natural Lipstick. And this is in Nudie Red. This is kind of like a fig color to me, not a red. Let's watch it right here. Where is this liquid lipstick? This is Be A Bombshell. Secret, that's all it says. Be A Bombshell, it looks like a gloss. By LA Splash. I'm nervous to watch this because the last time I did I could not get it off. But these stay on forever and I love them. I wish I could have afforded to get the new colors they came out with this year. This is beautiful and I love wearing it. It's probably one of my, it's probably my favorite lipstick 
liquid lipstick that I have in my collection because it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, I love this. This is the Lime Crime uh, Carousel Lip Gloss in Present. This is gorgeous. I love this. It is pigmented. This is the Tooth and Nail Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Cable Car. They smell like bubble gum. It's kind of different from like the vanilla scent that you usually get. It's gorgeous and it lasts for a long time and it doesn't crumble. So these are wonderful. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede Lip Liquid Lipstick in Kitten Boots. Love the name. It's so cute. But I don't really know how I feel about it. Only worn it a couple times. There's that. I haven't really had a problem with it. I've heard mixed reviews. And last but not least, my recent favorite Sugar Pills Trinket Liquid Lipstick. So gorgeous. I'm in love. Here's the Sugar Pill Liquid Lipstick. It's got those little gold shimmers, if you can even see them. It's so pretty. But, I think we have made it to the end of my lipstick collection, which is ever-growing. What part of anybody on YouTube's makeup collection is not? Because we all have a problem here, and we more than know it. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed all of my makeup collection. Um, I enjoyed filming the video and, um, sitting here talking with everybody and showing everybody the swatches, which is always fun to watch. Um, those are some of my favorite videos to watch. Um, let me know what you want to see next. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, have a lovely new year. And I'll see you all in probably my empties.